Ahoy, friends. Welcome to Building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan. This is a project to build a Chamberlain Racing Dory from John Gardner's The Dory Book, illustrations by Sam Manning. Today we'll be out in the shop working on the rails and uh, yeah, getting the uh, parts and pieces ready to uh, install when the temperature gets a little bit warmer. Um, all right, let's get out there and get to it. All right. Well, first thing to uh, do is get down the And we'll uh, sort of take an average of these frames. So we got two and a half inches, two and a quarter inches. Two and a quarter inches, two and almost a half inches, um, yeah so it looks like two and a quarter inches is about where we want to be for, for, the, um, for the frame. This one's a little bit less even. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll set this at the narrowest point um, on the uh, frames and uh, strike a line along the outside edge of the flanking and then we're going to come back through and uh, you know, in the old days we would have used a hand saw but uh, we can get out the circular saw for this and just uh, slice this railing off at, uh, at the mark. I'll go to the other side, do the same. That comes, tapers right into just enough here at the, uh, at the stem, so we get just enough for the blocking material there. Put this 
some ear pluggies here. So push those in. They don't make it you know they don't make it so you can't hear they just cut out the uh, high pitch sounds. Oh and uh, actually before we yeah, right. So before we uh, do any of the um, do any of the uh, before we do any of the um, Just eyeballing that curve, and I'll be able to plane it out on those. So actually, we're, we're going to skip that. So the the reason I was going to grab the baton was to fare the ends in with the two inch, two and a quarter offset at the rail, but it doesn't look like uh, like we're going to need that. So the last thing I want to, or the next thing I want to do check that the saw is set at the right depth and by the right depth I mean the uh, depth of the the depth of the uh, blocking so there's a couple places here you can see uh, at the rail um, we're right on the frame so the saw is going to be uh, the saw is going to be past the frame at the depth of the rail and we're actually going to cut into a few of these frames and you'll see how we finish that off because it's going to leave a little piece sticking up standing proud the other thing is the uh, saw is at 90 degrees just checking that yeah and so what we'll do is we'll start on one end and I'm using the uh, big flat of the saw here um, on the rail to kind of guide it.
so you can see what we did was we just trimmed this uh, trim this rail so that it's uh, flush to the uh, to the gunnel now. Now, um, in a couple spots, you can see. See, we actually cut down into the frame. So I'll have to come back with the uh, chisel and uh, knock those out. Not a big deal. Now let's uh, let's do the other side. Oh, but it's looking like it uh, tapered in nice to this uh, to this front because uh, the uh, rails at the stem and stern taper off the blocking tapers off to nothing so you just got to taper the two inches to nothing which we've pretty much already done so uh, yeah this should be good to go cut this off. That's kind of dangerous actually just sticking out there where the uh, one of the ring nails actually went through the work honestly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start low and just knock up to the uh, there's no reason to uh, to totally fair everything in. I'm just taking that edge off. And what you've got to do is take it down to the height that the, uh, the rail is going to go go in at. Um, or just take it down parallel, really. But we know that the uh, rail that's going on here is going to be about two inches. 
inches wide, so so I'm taking it down so that that rail will not only settle on there smooth, but it'll be a nice transition. Some of these don't need to be touched, which means the rail will be. Which means there'll be a short of the rail on here, which is fine. So I'm just uh, knocking these off and uh, see like here this, this is standing proud so when the rail goes on here it's not going to be smooth to the rest of the so I'll knock off the part we saw it into and then bring it down to by another inch so that that inner rail can go on nice and smooth. Alright, so with those knocked off, it's going to be that much easier to plane the, uh, plane the rails. going along and uh, following that. following that pencil line and uh, just doing the best I can to keep the plane square to the um, square to the rail face. I don't know if you can see over here, but we cut out the uh, sap wood in this, in this block when we uh, made this cut. There was some sap wood on the side there.
nothing to it. the uh, inside edges plain. Now we're going to uh, take the tops of these, the couple ones that are standing proud of the uh, of the rail down to the height of the rail. Or at least a little bit closer to it. We'll do the final. We'll take them down to their final height once we got that inner rail on. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm just taking these high edges off here. And this is up a little bit above. So now I get a little bit more done in the transom area. And uh, see how that goes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so now we've got to uh, make sure that we get all these inside edges down where we want them to. And let's find a piece of wood to cut the rails out of the uh, inner rails. Thanks so much for stopping by Building the Alpha Dory. A massive thank you to everyone who's liked, subscribed, supported the channel and all. This wouldn't be possible without you guys. So, um, yeah, great to see you and uh, looking forward to next video. Have a great day.